All right, guys, Wrath will be launching on the 26th of September. So if you're interested in getting the Exalted title for Wrath Classic, then I have five reputations from the Burning Crusade Classic that will be getting more difficult to grind to Exalted when Wrath comes around. So let's get into them. The Scenarian Expedition are an arm of the Scenarian Circle that has ventured out into the Outlands to teach the native inhabitants how to take care of their ecosystems. I say the whole world must learn of our peaceful ways. By force. Connected to the Scenarian Expedition reputation is a mount and a title. The mount is a Scenarian War Hippogriff, which can be bought for 2000 gold, and the title is the Guardian of Scenaris, which also requires you to be exalted with a Scenarian Circle in Silithus. Now grinding the reputation, you can get straight to Honored by handing in 360 unidentified plant species, and then hand in all the uncatalogued species that you got from the previous turn ins, up to 24 if you have them. Now, if you have any quests with the faction, now is the time to do them. They have settlements in Hellfire Peninsula, Zanga Marsh, Taraka Forest, and Blades Edge Mountains. Past this point, you may run normal Steam Vaults or any of the heroic version Coil Fang Reservoir Dungeons. Each heroic can be done once a day for at least 2,500 rep for a full clear. Adam and Jamie have shown just how easy it is to shoot fish in a barrel. An alternative is Coilfang armaments that give 75 rep each. You'll need 280 of them if you want to get from revered to exalted, so check your server price and see if that's something you want to do. When we all leave TBC behind, those rep items will become rarer, and could become an obscure gold farm, but either way, prices will go up. The Keepers of Time are another reputation for the Bronze Dragonflight, because having three reputations for one faction of dragons makes total sense. For getting to Exalted, there's a ton of patterns for all different professions, and of course each faction you get to Exalted also allows you to buy their tabard, and you need 25 of these to get your tabard of the Achiever tabard. Wow, that's a mouthful. The reputation is gained through the quest chain that runs through and unlocks each of the dungeons, and it will net you 16,000 rep and it will also get you your heroic key. This is the typical starting point for dungeon grinding where you will run any of the dungeons found in the caverns of time. Old Hillsbrad Foothills will give 2300 rep for a heroic or 1045 for a normal, but it requires an exploit where you kill the mobs in Taran Mill when you arrive and they will respawn during the thrall sequence. We're Normal version the is here. also the lowest level content that gives rep up to Exalted for a faction, so you may never know, you could solo this during Wrath if you're the right class. Black Morass gives 1110 rep, and nobody cares what BM Heroic gives because nobody runs it. You'll need 26,000 rep to get all the way to Exalted, and no, the Keepers of Time rep cannot be gained from the Culling of Stratholme dungeon during Wrath. What? This entire Citrella must be peeled. How can you even cook that? There's got to be some other way. Damn it, Umami. As your future chef, I order you to broil this city. You are not my chef yet, Boyardee. Nor would I obey that command if you were. Then I must consider this an act of seasoning. On a hold and Thralmar, these factions are the Horde and the Alliance bases in Hellfire Peninsula. Now bear with me, this one gets pretty dry. There is a PvP daily that will give marks of On a Hold or Thralmar that can be used to buy either the Thralmar favor or the Honor Hold favor, which will give 25% extra rep for mob kills for 30 minutes. All you need to do is flip all of the towers in Hellfire Peninsula. If you are a faction that is less dominant on the server, you can usually flip these whenever you want. Otherwise, you will need another tune on the opposite faction to flip the towers for yourself so that you have the ability to flip them, or you could invite the other faction to flip them for you so that you can flip them back. That way they can get their daily done and you can get your daily done. What you really want to do if you are starting from scratch is run Ramparts and Blood Furnace normal until you are 5999 friendly. Then you can complete the remaining quest with the faction in the Hellfire Zone. You should be above Honored now, so you can pick yourself up the Heroic Key from the Quartermaster. Through to Exalted now, you can only run Shattered Halls or any of the Heroic Citadel Dungeons. Each heroic should give you 2,500 rep or more for a full clear. Stop fucking around, you little it's time for maths. Let's say you can clear Ramparts heroic in under 30 minutes each day. A 25% boost means an extra 625 rep plus the 300 that you got directly from the two dailies that you needed to buy the favor buff. 
plus the rep from completing the two heroic rampart runs is 5,925 rep every two days. If you are starting from honored and you use the reputation buffs, it will take you 11 runs instead of 13. The Draenei and the Blood Elves of the Shatar are the main residents of the Shatrath city, along with the Naru, but it makes me wonder where all the houses are. Getting your rep to Exalted with the Shatar involves handing in rep items for the Aldor and the Scryer, though it might not say it in your console, each time you hand in marks of Kill Jaden or Firewing Signets, you gain 125 rep for the Shatar as well. This is until you are honoured with the Aldor or the Scryers, and this repeatable quest is no longer available. Now you can hand in 10 marks of Sargeras to Aldor, or 10 Sunfury Signets to the Scryers, and another repeatable quest has become available as well, where you can give Aldor Fell Armaments or Scryers Arcane Tomes, and each one will give you 175 rep for the Shatar. To go from neutral to honoured, you'll need 240 marks of Kill Jaden or Firewing Signets, and then 480 marks of Sargeras or Sunfury Signets. Instead of Sunfury Signets and Sargeras, you could always hand in 34 Felt Armaments or Arcane Tombs. To get from Honored to Exalted, you'll need to complete what quests you have left with the Shatar and run normal or heroic Tempest Keep dungeons. So let's head up to Botanica. I got that fertilizer and they want to get wet right now. Uh, this snake plant really giving me a snake. God damn. Uh, I almost spit all up on that. What are you doing? These specimens are very delicate. Botanica has the most mobs to farm for rep, and will give 2200 rep for a full run on normal, but on heroic it will give 3200, and all you need to do is fly up to Tempest Keep and cut the grass. The lower city isn't really one group of people, but instead a ragtag group of poor and homeless citizens and refugees of Shatrath. But for the lower city, to start off your reputation journey from neutral to honoured, you'll need to do some things for the cax. You know, change the water in the bird bath, he needs a new seed bell, or you could bring him 1080 of his dead enemy's feathers. Now you can farm these out or you can find them on the auction house, they drop off of any enemy Arakawa in Terakar Forest. If you don't want to do this, then do the quests instead, it just means you'll have to run more dungeons later. Either way, once you've finished all of the quests with the Lower City, the Refugee Caravan and Arkandoon, then you'll be able to run Shadow Labyrinth on Normal or Heroic, or Heroic Sethic Halls and Heroic Arcanite Crypts until you are exalted. There is also the Daily Heroic, which will give you 350 lower rep too. This leads me to the reason why I've included these reps as urgent and not the others. I have singled them out because every one of them requires you to run a dungeon that is around the difficulty of Akrag Keep, if you want to get to Exalted. The dungeon reps don't really have anything too interesting to buy when you get to Exalted, because typically any epic item these vendors sell will already be redundant because of the time it takes to get to Exalted, and how easy it is to gear up just raiding Karazhan, to raiding Blue, and when Wrath comes out, we will be leaving this content behind, so forming groups for this content will also become significantly harder. Unless you are the right type of class and spec, you won't be able to solo them. There are a lot more Outlands reputations, but each one can be grinded to max solo, so urgency isn't really much of an issue. You can expect a new episode of the Exalted series every now and then, if you are subscribed and we will get our Exalted titles together over the course of the Wrath of the Lich King expansion. Don't forget to sub for more achievement content, and if you liked this video, give it a like so I know to make more of it. I hope you are having a great time and getting ready for Wrath, whatever your goals are, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.